All right, guys, that's the work plan for the day. So let's get out there and get started. And remember, it costs you nothing to be nice to a fellow employee today. So be nice to each other out there and let's get going. Hey, whoa, whoa, before we get out of here now, I need to know how much it's gonna cost me to be an asshole all day. I got, hold on, I got, I got $30 on me. Is, is that gonna get me through all day or do I need to go to the ATM real quick? What, what do you mean how much does it cost to be an asshole? Why would you want to be an asshole? What do you mean, why would I want to be an asshole, okay? Have you not, have, do you not work out here with the rest of us, okay? Half these people haven't seen a sticky deodorant in three months, and it's the middle of summer, okay? They are musty as shit. Two of those, yeah, yeah, y'all two over there, okay? Their last two brain cells are fighting over an eight ball every single day on the way to work, okay? I can't, I can't be nice to these people here. I mean, I try sometimes when I need some money for the vending machine, but to be nice all day, I mean, I would honestly just rather pay to be an asshole instead of being nice for free. So I'm, I'm gonna need to know how much it's gonna cost. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it, 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 it costs you nothing. It's not gonna affect your day at all to be nice to your fellow coworkers, but, uh, well, I mean, uh, listen there, son, you're starting to stutter. It's getting hot in there. Let me clear this up for y'all young bucks. It is free to be nice. It is free to be an asshole. It is easier to be an asshole, but I need y'all all to realize right now before you choose whether to be nice or an asshole to somebody here, especially me, realize that being nice will not get your ass whooped, okay? But the very moment you be an asshole to me, you're gonna catch these fucking hands. So base your attitude off your ability to fight. So do not overload your ass because you're gonna be sitting on that motherfucker if you do. Can we go now? Is did I clear it up for you? Uh, yeah, kind of, that kind of clears it up. So, Ricky, does that, does that answer your question, kind of? Yeah, that clears everything up for me, no problem. All I gotta do is worry about him. <laughs> hey, you, you better keep both hands on your walker, old man, because I will knock the dust off your old ass. You understand? <laughs> I'll tell you what, boy, that's funny, man. Two hands on the walker, knock the dust off me up. I will tell you this much, though. Before you decide to tangle up with me, go ask your grandmama how hard I can hit which you'll be getting in a completely different way, but still tell you I'll pack a punch. Oh, sweet Jesus. Did this, did he just? You don't even know my G-Mammy, okay? You don't even know her. Don't you speak on her like that. You know what, son, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe I don't know you, G-Mammy. Maybe I ain't ever been to 619 North Maple. Maybe a blue house on the corner. But I can tell you one thing. I ain't got a walker to keep both my hands on day, cause last couple times I've been over there, she just ain't been walking real good after I visited. So uh, <laughs> I let her borrow. But you, you do let me know when you talk to her next. Ask her when I can uh, have that walker back. And remember this key important thing: if you want to be an asshole today at work, just remember you can be an asshole for free, but you'll never be the asshole. So I suggest you choose to be nice.